The Panther KF-51 is a main battle tank that is under development by Rhine Metal Land System. It was unveiled publicly at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition on 13 June 2022. The KF-51 is currently based on the hull of the Legacy Leopard 2 of 4 but the design is intended to mark a departure from the preceding generation of Western MBTs by introducing a new turret armed with an auto-loaded 130mm main gun, reducing weight through greater reliance on active rather than passive protection, and facilitating teaming with uncrewed platforms by providing space inside the hull for a dedicated systems operator or unit commander. The TF-51 Panther is stated to have three layers of protection passive, reactive, and active. The innermost layer consists of all welded steel armor, covered by passive armor modules. The second layer comprises sensor-based reactive armor, while the final layer consists of Rheinmetall's active defense system, active protection system, that Rheinmetall claims is capable of protecting against kinetic energy projectiles and anti-tank guided missiles. It is possible to mount the ADs on both the hull and the turret. The Panther is also fitted with eight Rheinmetall Rapid Obscuring System smoke grenade launchers mounted in staggered rows of two behind the central camera housing on each side of the turret. It is also possible to integrate sensors into the Panther that can detect the launch signature of ATGMs and unguided anti-tank rockets before cueing the vehicle's crew towards the threat or launching appropriate countermeasures. The Panther can also be fitted with Rheinmetall's top attack protection system. This comprises a hard kill element in which the coverage of the ADS is extended to the roof of the platform to protect against both ATGMs and unguided anti-tank rockets launched at high elevations. The primary armament of the TF-51 is a stabilized Rheinmetall R100 and 30 130 mm L-51 smoothbore gun they can be elevated from minus 9 at to plus 20 at. Rheinmetall claims that this is capable of delivering between 18 to 20 megajoules to 15 million foot-pounds force of energy onto a target, and that it has a 50% longer effective range than other Rheinmetall 120 mm tank guns. The R-130 can fire armor-piercing, fin stabilized discarding Sebat ammunition programmable airburst high-explosive and practice projectiles. The gun is fed by an autoloader that consists of two revolving drum magazines with a capacity of 10 rounds each. The R-O-130 mounted on a test rig was able to fire three rounds in 16 seconds, though this included the time to perform safety checks. Two hatches are located in the turret sides to allow the autoloader's magazines to be replenished within five minutes. An option is also available to carry an additional 10 rounds on the back of the vehicle outside of the hull and turret. Secondary armament consists of a coaxially mounted 12.7mm machine gun. A remote operated weapon station can be mounted on the rear of the turret roof to provide close in defense and a counter unmanned aircraft system capability. An option for this is the Rheinmetall Natter, which can be armed with a 7.62mm MG that can be elevated from minus 15 at to plus 85 at. When armed with a 7.62 mm MG, it carries 2,500 ready rounds. In addition, the KF-51 can be equipped with the Hero 120 loitering munition system.